Hi guys, today a last part of wearing accessories for the PlayStation and but firstly what I want uh, wanted to show you is this back plate and in this very early model uh, let me let me just show you it's up for, from the Paul region SCPH uh, 1002 so so the two is is actually for the Europe and uh, on this early model you have all kinds of ports I already showed the parallel port uh, the, the serial IO was used for uh, other accessories but the, import, uh, the important part for this video is uh, this so the uh, video output so generally speaking what you uh, what you want to have is a cable like this uh, that will connect to your TV uh, with a SCART connector that basically means the RGB output that, uh, where the colors are uh, colors and the clarity of the image is perfect uh, if you cannot have that you would go to uh, to connect your TV with the this video out and uh, st uh, the, if you don't have a stereo TV at the, at the time, there were the TVs that without stereo input, you would have to connect only the mono cable. Uh, this is obviously the composite, so uh, the, the quality is not really that great. But even if you didn't have something like this, uh, the, 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 the reason why of this very early model, there is a RF DC out, I, I think it's 5 volts. And this is for a special adapter that connects to here and to here with a pin, but it was only on this uh, early model uh, and you would be able to use the RF. So basically uh, connect the, the PlayStation to your TV using the antenna cable, uh, the, the analog, uh, basically analog uh, signal like it was from, for example, uh, a Nintendo uh, Entertainment System. So let, let me just connect the, the thing and today I will be showing you this. This is a Chaya Mate uh, accessory that does exactly the same but it does not require a DC in. So uh, it will allow you to connect uh, your PlayStation to a TV with analog, uh, analog input uh, using the antenna connector. It was made in 2003 if you uh, take a look at the back right here so yeah quality check passed and also it has uh, those connectors in case you don't want to have uh, these uh, at, at, at the back of the PlayStation in use I, I don't see any other reason uh, well let me just connect it and we will take a look All right, so it found two channels. If you listen carefully, you will have this. You will hear this amazing sound. <laughs> yeah, and this is exactly the RF out. It will probably work a lot better if you if uh, if it was powered like original accessory, but this one isn't. As you can see, this channel and this channel, which is completely. And you, well, you you cannot see anything here, and um, well, it it works. You can see everything, but uh, let me give you a comparison. As you can see, uh, the colors are all off, and and, and uh, th this is completely wrong. Let me do a quick switch to the uh, RGB mode. There we go, <laughs> perfectly fine. Uh, let let's try it some some game, uh, so you can have a better understanding. RGB. RF.
this is RF again and as you can see here it's all blurry let me quickly switch to RGB see very clear so well, basically the, the main reason why anyone would use uh, uh, the, the RF connection is uh, mostly because they don't have a connector on their TV at, the, at that time well maybe let's take a quick look inside okay so in this set uh, was this uh, basically changed to uh, RF antenna connector at, at least uh, this is for Europe I think in the in the US you have a uh, something like a coaxial connector uh, and I already removed the screws and like let's take a quick pick inside oh, oh that, that's quite a lot of wires uh, I think this okay so this is not stuck and this is completely analog uh, basically analog board so as you can see here quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of uh, inductors and capacitors some resistors no chips inside I think uh, only this uh, is a crystal maybe yeah it's it's probably four point as you can see here four point four three three crystal uh, the connector is actually taking a signal from the RGB so well, that that's really amazing that it does something like that some transistors uh, maybe I will be able to take this out of the board let's see oh yeah so so on, on the other side as you can see there is a chip and this is probably straight through uh, this connector so so you can connect to the, uh, uh, to the composite signal uh, let me read the name of the chip I think it was well it's painted on, on purpose so it will be harder to reverse engineer this I think SZX645M I think so I will take a closer look in a moment okay so I actually check and it's it is SZX1645M and M is the packaging and the oscillator here this is actually I mean I was wrong because this uh, little board actually converts into the uh, PAL uh, the, the, the signal from, from the PlayStation because it has an oscillator to do so and it's 4.43 uh, and, and so on and it, that, that's the, uh, the, the frequency and if, if you... It, I researched, researched the chip and, and found information that well, the, the guy doesn't really know what the chip does and, and so on he has exactly the same uh, peripheral but as you can see he replaced the oscillator with 3.57 and and and, uh, and so on uh, to convert it into the NTSC so uh, it actually will output the NTSC signal for him and uh, well <laughs> basically yeah and he was able to, to do the uh, do this and and, and uh, the the output of this uh, board became the NTSC signal. So the, if you research it by the uh, by the name uh, of the chip, you surely will find this article. It's it's in Thai, uh, but you should be able to to to, to find this easily. Uh, okay, so that's it. Probably this. Uh, is some kind of regulation maybe uh, the, the, the the signal or, or, or the strength but this is a very curious board because it doesn't have any uh, voltage input and nothing like that so it, it's it, it is almost completely um, passive so it, it's really amazing what it can do so well that, that's it thanks for watching guys